Ian Sloan and his two crew members had waited outside the Southport Seaway since dusk last night, waiting for a chance to bring the 14-metre catamaran Sultanay through the surging entrance. There's one building behind him. Ian had been warned the Southport bar was treacherous. This morning he'd heard over the marine radio whale watching tours had been cancelled for the day. But sensing a gap in the sets, he went for it. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Sultanay was launched ahead of the wave, but Ian kept the cat on a straight line, pushed by the foaming white water. 20 seconds later, they were through. It's just gone, what, 9 o'clock in the morning and I've, and I've had a beer and I never do that. <laughs> I needed it this morning, though. <laughs> what he did was amazing, just how, how he surfed that in. He, he, he made his timing perfect and just rode it in as if he was a professional on a surfboard. The skipper didn't have to attempt the crossing. He could have sailed north to Brisbane and then backtracked south in sheltered waters. We decided rather than two days sailing to Brisbane and uh, back down here again uh, that it was worth the risk. Ian Sloan brought Sultan to the Gold Coast to sell her, but after today's successful wild ride, he's having second thoughts. I don't know if I'll sell it now. <laughs> That's a good boat. <laughs> On the Gold Coast, Josh Adset. Seven News.